Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Arrested Development. Season 1, episode number 22. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit the notification bell if you can. It does help the algorithm. Help us. Um, if you guys don't notice already, RJ is under the weather a bit. And he I is short-winded and he's a little sick. So <laughs> he's going to do his best. I'm still dealing with... Uh, my ear issues, so we're just a little bit of a mess over here in the Real Talk House, but yep. we're going to power through it. So just Let's a couple of comments it. to feature from episode 21. Uh, executive producer JoJo says, just want to shout out Baby in this one. She's one who gets who gets great growth as the seasons go on and even into the reboot seasons. The way she can coolly lie and get things done might have her grow up to be the bluthiest bluth outside of Lucille. Mm. You can't be more bluthy than Lucille. Yeah. Come on. Our executive producer Alyssa says Michael and maybe team up was brilliant and hopefully they will team up again in the future. Also, Lindsay getting a job surprised the hell out of me. Yeah. Surprised <laughs> um, everybody. Yeah. Uh, also, <clears throat> Tobias and his career choices are blowing my mind and I can't wait to see his next adventure. Hmm. Alright guys, let's get to episode 22 right now. Both farm diets are sweeping the nation, but some local businesses are being left in the dust. And hey. the latest on Iraq on this week... It's George Michael, they're going to show that interview you did. We're going to watch it on Thursday, okay? I'll make some popcorn. Popcorn, really? Cool. Get the hell with that thing, huh? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll blow it now. I'll fry up some bacon. Oh, Dad. I can start it. That's so old school. Buddy, you got to take it easy, okay? I'm showing this as a model, you know? I don't want people to think we've got shoddy workmanship. <gasps> that might not have been your fault. I know. Nothing works in this house. Tell me about it. I like that idea that, but he just yeah. he's he's just said that. I need a job. Really? What kind of job? Beads. Bees? Beads. Beads? Job's not on board. Beads are very big right now. <laughs> he's uh, so anklets, concerned. Necklaces. Bean names. Bracelets. But I'll need some startup money. I'm in. But we're gonna need a lot. Beads aren't cheap. Are beads cheap? Job, shouldn't you be cheap? Well, we got a meeting with Dad's attorney today. You want me to take a lie detector test? He uses evidence in Dad's trial, but uh, I don't want to. What if they ask about a magic trick? I just I can't risk it. They're not gonna ask you anything. They want me to take the pulse. Sure. But you gotta work. All right. Before you know it, I'll be in the red, and you can take that to the bank. I'm sure they'll contact me first. Right. And that's when Michael got a call that made him wish he hadn't promised his sister the money. Hello? Kitty? Oh, and later, the family waited for Michael at the prison meeting. How do you make money for them? I don't know, honey. Or just as gifts. Who would want to be as a gift? While Buster and Anyang waited just outside. Come on, just let me have a bit. No, mother said no carbohydrate for you. If you ever going to get a girlfriend, that's not all me. Uh, at least I can get a girlfriend. I can get a girlfriend before you. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. Hey, why aren't you in there? Oh, I was just keeping on your company. Give me that big old Give it to me. The kid's cracking up. Oh, I'm a star witness. Give me a Where are you going to be like? No, no. Don't get too close to me. <clears throat> I can't believe it. I think someone laid eggs on me. Oh, thanks for your hands. Why would you kiss me and touch me and then tell me all that? About that. No. I'll tell them, Michael. I won't do it. I'm afraid of what I might know. You? Yeah, no one wants you. Does anyone want him there? Who would want him? Who would want him? They don't want you. Good. Joke's having a theme this episode. No one wanted you. Yeah. Wanting it, babe. This morning. Your secretary? Yeah. My secretary. She says that she's got some evidence and she's threatening to bring down the company unless we meet her demands. Oh, that is just great. And now I'm expected to climb back on top of Kitty and do my thing again. I mean, this family runs into problems. It's all the time to her way out of it. What is the matter with you? What is the matter with you? That she wants to meet with, Joe. Oh. Good. <laughs> now, what does she have, Dad? I need to know. No, you can't know. We gotta keep you nice and clean, my boy. Especially if you're gonna take that lie detector test. He is absolutely right. Find out what Kitty wants and just give it to her, but don't find out what she knows. Michael, you can save this business. You are the only one. <clears throat> yeah, besides me, right? But I kinda got my hands full with these babies. He's got bees! No bees. He's got bees! Oh my god! No bees! Just, they don't allow you to have bees in here. Yeah, Richard can't and have bees in here. That would probably be bad. Michael made a new friend. Hi. Hi. Are bananas high in carbohydrates? Oh, you're on Atkins, too. Uh, yeah. Actually, that's, um, that's why I'm gonna be on, on TV. You are? 
I was interviewed in hindsight with John Beard. I, uh, I gave them a joke, but I mean, I don't know if they're going to use it. <laughs> you know, thanks for this diet craze, the last time we had a customer, uh, the banana stand was still green. Lose it. <laughs> Lose the whole kit. <laughs> Lose the whole kit, aww! Damn. Damn! I guess. That was a good joke, though. That was a good joke. Good banana joke. Yeah, I, I guess. Michael headed off to meet Kitty. Your last meeting is important. Say goodbye to your company, Michael. And say goodbye. No, 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 no. Please. So Michael was understandably anxious about their reunion. Guess I do get to see them again, huh? <laughs> Can we please have one conversation that's not about my rack, Michael? My rack. Okay, a better question would be, what evidence do I have against you? Because I'm telling. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. I don't want to know. I just want to know uh, what you want. I'd like to be in charge of the police company. Well, I want a hamburger and french fries, but I can't have the bun and the potatoes. Get real. I deserve it. You know, act. Your father Babe, it to me. I used to do that shit, too. <laughs> Sounds like something that he would do. And if I can't be in charge, then I'm going to have to tell the entire world that your father was building houses overseas without well, hold on, hold on, me. Just stop, stop, stop. I'm just, no, finish, it. finish. Um, without paying what? Texas? Model houses, Michael. Overseas. And he hid it from the U.S. That's it? That's what my dad's been hiding? Back taxes? And unless you plan on paying them, your dad's gonna be in prison for a long time. No, we'll pay them. Forget it. We'll just oh, we'll mortgage the company if we have to. Found money for those, we'll find money for taxes. Good to see you. Good to see you. I was in charge, that so would have been my first move, too. What, just to pay the taxes? George Michael was just out to meet the girl. Is that your whole thing? That can't be it. Oh, oh, my this God. is gonna be okay. Yeah, I thought Fernandez would be okay on the diet. No, I, I meant, well, you haven't been eating those, have you? No, no, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's not Atkins. Yeah. Yeah, those are fine. What I meant was, I think we're going to be seeing... Well, I want a burger and fries, but you can't have uh, blood and... Does that sound good? I'm yeah, wrapping it later. Let's see you right now. It is very worrisome. Hey, what the hell are you doing? The house Great is falling news, apart. Michael. We're thinking of purchasing a Bluth model home. And <laughs> let's check the oven. Whoa, that doesn't inspire confidence. Lindsay, the bead business taken off, is it? Actually... I am the breadwinner, Michael, as it turns out. I was walking in a strange place today, a place I've never set foot in before. Tobias, walking down a street he'd been down many times, saw a book he'd written years earlier as a psychiatrist. The book, initially the unsuccessful, had suddenly caught fire. <laughs> Although, strangely, only in the gay community. The book is huge, and I have a bit of money coming my way as a result. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go upstairs and run the shower. Let me know if it's too loud in the kitchen. Okay. So your husband comes in with some money and suddenly he's not so oblivious anymore. <clears throat> hey, no, this is not me being shallow, Michael. He's written a self-help book that's helping people. That does take now some insight. Her husband, but... Listen, this better not mean you're blowing off the bead store. Well, uh, seeing as though you brought it up, maybe we should get out of this investment. I mean, seriously, Michael, beads. I mean, you do this. You work for like three seconds and you find something that's easier and you just grab it. It's dip a pat the truth. Okay, because there's been a lot of lying in this family. And a lot of love. More lies. Look, I never... More lies. But I have my suspicions. He never told me where he was going, but he used to come back from those business trips reeking of lamb. And people lamb. sent freaks, not even at Christmas, in the middle of October. Oh, and once someone sent him a toe, and he went white as a sheet. I think you're right, Michael. Zero hour, Michael. It's the end of the line. I'm the firstborn. Sick of playing second fiddle. Always third in line for everything. I'm tired of finishing fourth. Being the fifth wheel. There are six things I'm mad about. <laughs> I'm just trying to kill. You want to be in charge? You want to deal with what I deal with? A sister who takes your money and throws it away. A mother who you can't trust. A company whose founder may be on trial for treason. Is that what you want? What kind of vacation time does it offer? Yeah. I'm just gonna walk away. Job realized that the power play he promised to make with Kitty had perhaps come at a bad time. I've made a huge mistake. And Tobias was having his first book read. For the ease of the reader, I have changed all the gender-related pronouns, he, she, to the masculine, he. And Lindsay realized that Tobias was just as oblivious as she'd always thought. Tobias, I don't think this relationship is gonna work. What are you talking about? We've had some great times. But it's just nothing left to buy us. 
and Michael went to Guys, confront his father. You're building houses in Iraq? I mean, do you know how they punish treason? Worst time. I've never heard of a second. Hey, this is why I didn't want to get you involved, but we can fix this. What are Kitty's demands? What does she want? She wants my job. Uh, and suddenly everybody wants my job, and I should have given it to her. You mean you didn't? Michael! She has the evidence of what we did over there. No, all she thinks it is is unpaid taxes. Yeah, what if she gives it to someone who's even moderately intelligent? In what? fact, <laughs> Kitty had gone to someone moderately intelligent in her continuing quest for control of the Bluth Company. I can't believe you're calling me for a date. You didn't tell anyone, did you? Are you kidding? I don't need no brag. But some people haven't even been on a date. Damn it over here, fatty. You weren't thinking clearly. I mean, none of us are. We need to. If this information was so <coughs> why didn't you just shred it? Well, Saddam owed us money. You didn't realize that he wouldn't pay? Your mom had a good feeling. <laughs> So mom knew this entire time she just lied to my face for months and months. Let me tell you something, that this is a good feeling. I'm pretty sure he's going to pay us. Well, maybe it wouldn't be my problem if you did what I asked you to do for once in your damn life, and you gave Kitty what I asked you to. Once in my damn life? All I've ever done my entire life is do exactly what you told me to do, right? I've done everything for this family, Pop. Not anymore. Kitty can have my job. And you can take your own polygraph test, because I'm done. I'm done with you, and I'm done with the business. Great. I'm gonna get a lethal injection because my son will need a potato. <laughs> what? <laughs> George Sr. made a surprise move, volunteered to take the poly Did you sweet? Send it from the infirmary. No. No, it's okay. I wanna do this because I want people to know that I never willfully deceived anyone. Mistakes were made. But I never intended to hurt anyone. I was just trying to support my family. It doesn't appear to be on a sedative. But I can see clearly now, sitting in this chair strapped to this machine, I can see that my life has become a failure. Don't worry, me. Mm -hmm. I've let people down. I've let myself down. But I love my country! I love it here, here. You can shop. I love my cat breathe. I can't breathe. Wait, 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 are you guilty? Yes, sir. Wait, did he say a heart attack? That was not a nod. That was a nod. No, that was not a nod. Oh, my God. Is he faking? Is he faking, though? He can't be faking. How is he stable? But they don't know if he's due for another one. It's his own fault. What kind of diet is this? It's too much meat. I want all of you off this immediately. I can stay. It's too meat. Lindsay, this is my family. And Lindsay realized that perhaps they did have she something. Me. I know, babe. A real it's connection. She is also, Dale, one of the gentlemen from my reading is a nurse here, so we were able to park right out of the line. Oh, Barry, uh, did you get the water? I did. I have poison oak. Do you believe it? Where the hell did I get that? Do you believe it? She was talking this about guy. George. No, he's the same. Look, I guess we should decide on who's going to speak for the family. I would, but I, I have Laker tickets. I got Laker tickets. Buster knew this was his <laughs> choice. He fucking a ever, man. He wondered if he was up to it. Someone might have to sign the do not resuscitate form, and he decided he wasn't. I need to make a telephone call. Can I have something? I'm in charge now. Why do you get up like that? Fucking <laughs> Sabira. I mean, I could if you want me to. I'd rather not, obviously. Don't know what I'd say. Why do I have to be the one? I don't need this. Why does this have to become my problem? No, I'm out. Forget it. Find somebody else. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of doing everything for this family. Where is Michael? <laughs> Typical. Did somebody call him? In fact, they heard Maybe I didn't say I should have been here. Excuse me, Mr. Bluth. We lost him. Just uh, got away from us. I'm sorry. What? He ran away? Can we go in? There? <gasps> if you want, not a lot to see. Maybe not for you, but for us. No, no he, he ran away. Right away. Yeah. Let's take that escape. It's a really bad word choice. Yeah. Well, she crying though. Look at that. That's when the family realized that George Sr. wasn't dead, but was fleeing the country that he loved so very much. Wasn't he no knife? Thank you, Bags. Hey!
Thank you, baby. Where are we going? Arrested development. The family grapples with the news they had just heard. Hey, look at all these cards there, Andy. He's gone when he means he's escaped. Oh, God, I miss Fred. Yeah, they're all... He's dead. He left out the window. Or the room that the... Maybe's life gets a little more complicated. I mean, it's so obvious. He gave himself a shot to make it look like he was having a heart attack. How could they not see that? Maybe we should kiss again to teach him a lesson about obvious. <laughs> and Kitty helps George Sr. escape. Oh, Kitty did that? All right, that was episode 22 of uh, Arrested Development. And man, excuse me, that um that was a really good episode. I mean, I love the Atkins joke all the way through. Atkins was a big thing back in the day day. And they, that was just a good pun on, on the whole episode right there to, to do the Atkins. I liked everything about it. Everything that we've been doing from episode one up to now leading to it. All of it came to a head. All the way up to now, George Sr. has... Escape. I don't know why he did that. I mean, it, it, it for comedy's sake, okay, it can be funny, but you really not getting out of jail now at this point. So he's going to have to just stay on the run, and maybe he will, but it, it just didn't make no sense for you to leave. But good move, though, getting out of jail, getting to the hospital, and then bouncing. Good move on that for sure, but I thought this was a hilarious episode with that joke that kept running. And now uh, I can't wait to see what they got up for uh, season two. Um, yeah, season two. Yeah, so I I totally agree. I love the Atkins joke that uh, went all the way through. Um, I totally remember working at McDonald's and like wrapping the meat in lettuce or whatever, and like literally starving the entire time, just hungry all the time. Um, so I thought that was great that they had that theme throughout and they completely committed to it. I also love the twist as far as like building the houses in Iraq. Uh, in Iraq, I thought that was hilarious. I didn't see it coming, and the fact that um, old girl didn't even realize it. She really thought it was tax evasion, whatever was yeah. was super funny too. I, so I thought both of those plot worked. <coughs> I also really like Joe this episode as far as him not feeling like anybody wants him I thought that theme throughout the episode was super strong as well there was just a lot going on the maybe um and George Michael switch I didn't see coming I don't know if yeah. I love that yeah, like yeah. I'm not sure I guess if I love the show that. was just like it's time to move on from that thing right there. That was but now maybe's now jealous there. though like that's what I'm saying yeah now she's jealous so which, that like, was a surprise because yeah, I don't think she I, even picked up on it yeah so uh, I don't know if I love that plot device, but everything else this episode was super good. A uh, great way to end the first full season. Uh, this was a great finale. It mm -hmm. definitely tied in all the bits of pe uh, bits and pieces throughout this season. Um, and I think it sets up season two well, too, as far as all the shenanigans um, the dad can get into now and how that yeah. plays off. And, like, it'll be interesting to see. But loved it. Loved the season. Great choice. Can't wait to jump into season two. Yep. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Arrested Development Season 1, Episode number 22. And until next time, people, peace.